Look at this. Look at this. Shout out to my mutual black academics. He tagged me on this a couple of days ago. And I've been sort of waiting for local news media to include this story into their news reporting on TV. And I have yet to see it. If you've seen this news reported and you're in the Atlanta area, let me know. I can't find any type of video. It's not talked about on any of their YouTube channels. I can't find video of local news media here in Georgia talking about this news story. This is Brian Pritchard. He's the vice chairman of the Georgia Republican Party. And his ass has been fined for voting illegally. Not once, not twice, not three times, not five times, nine times. Not only has he been found and held accountable for voting illegally nine times, this mofo was part of the Republican crew that was pushing Donald Trump's big lie of election fraud. When he's the fucking fraud, he is election fraud. He, Brian Pritchard, vice chairman of the Republican Party in the state of Georgia, he's the fraud. Not only was he found to have committed election fraud by illegally voting nine times, he has been held accountable. We're going to get into that. And the reason why he was found to have voted illegally is because this man is a convicted criminal. Uh-huh. In a 25-page ruling by administrative law judge Lisa Boggs, she informed the board's finding that Pritchard had voted illegally nine times in defiance of his extended probation in connection with a pair of felony convictions dating back nearly 30 years. You know, they don't believe the law applies to them. Mm -hmm. So he defied the law as being a convicted criminal and decided that he was going to vote. Pritchard was initially sentenced in 1996 to three years probation in connection with felony forgery charges in Pennsylvania, according to the ruling. Pritchard's probation was revoked three times in 1999 when he moved to Georgia and again in 2002 and 2004. A judge in 2004 imposed a new seven year Probation, probationary sentence, which made Pritchard ineligible to vote in the state until 2011. 2008, Pritchard filled out a voter registration form with Gilmer County's Board of Elections and signed a sworn statement asserting that he was not he was not serving a sentence for having been convicted of a felony involving mortal turpitude, moral torp turpitude. Pritchard cast a series of Georgia ballots, including four that year in primary and general elections and runoffs and five more in 2010 in special elections and primaries and the general election. Pritchard testified he was not aware of anything that would have prevented him from registering to vote when he signed the application. I called lies. I called bullshit. But here's where the white privilege comes in. His ass has not been arrested, arrested and charged with election fraud. He has not been arrested and charged with election fraud. The people who look like me, they've been arrested and charged for saying they didn't know that they weren't eligible to vote. This man says he didn't know he wasn't eligible to vote and he's free. Black people 
have been arrested, charged, gone to trial, found guilty, sentenced, and is serving prison time for what he did. He has not been arrested or charged. He was fined $5,000. And this man did this nine times. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is what you call white privilege.